Our next topic is Telco Cloud Platform. Let's see what's there in this topic. As the foundational component of a Telco Cloud, NFV is an architectural framework developed by the European Telecommunication Standard Institute Industry Specific Group. The framework provides a reference model where network functions are delivered through software virtualization with commercial off the shelf hardware. In this way, NFV moves away from proprietary, purpose built hardware dedicated to a single service that is common in legacy telco network infrastructures. The result is transformed network that is agile, resilient, and equipped to deliver high quality services. The NFV framework defines functional abstractions and interactions between the building blocks. Some of these abstractions are already present in current deployments, while others must be added to support the virtualization process and operations. Here, the figure on the screen shows the reference model for an NFV enabled telco cloud infrastructure environment with clear functional abstractions and interactions in the following tires. Physical infrastructure. It represents compute hardware, storage, and physical networking as the underlying pool of shared resources. In addition, there are numerous other physical network devices such as switches, routers, element management system, and so on making the execution ecosystem a hybrid virtual and physical topology. NFVI The NFVI tire is delivering using the vCloud NFV platform. It delivers the virtualization runtime environment with network functions and resource isolation for virtual machine workloads. In NFVI, virtualized compute, storage and networking are delivered as an integrated solution through data center. The NFVI is optimized for carrier class workloads to enable the delivery of carrier grade and resilient services. Infrastructure high availability performance and scale considerations are built into this tire for performance optimization. Resource orchestration. This tire provides resource management capabilities to the NFVI tire. In this way, the NFVI can deliver a flexible infrastructure for life cycle management of workloads, network management, and resource management. The resource orchestration tire is responsible for controlling, managing, and monitoring the NFVI compute, storage, and network hardware, the software for virtualization layer, and the virtualized resources. The Virtualized Infrastructure Manager module manages the allocation and release of virtual resources and the association of virtual to physical resources, including resource optimization. The VIM also maintains the inventory of NFVI, including the linkage and relationship between components as they relate to an instance of a VNF or Cloud Native Network Function CNF workload. In this way, the VIM allows for monitoring in the context of a single VNF. Cloud Automation This tire provides a service management and control function which bridge the virtual resource orchestration and physical functions to deliver services and service chains including operation support system and business support systems. It is typically a centralized control and management function including embedded automation and optimization capabilities. Solutions This tire is the multi-domain ecosystem that delivers software virtual functions as native VM functions. Such functions are composed in complex solutions to enable service offers and business models that CSP customers consume. Solutions can range from small branch office function including customer premises equipment to IP-based multimedia services, evolved packet core, multi-access edge computing, and more delivered as tenant slices across multiple clouds. Operations Management This tire provides integrated operational intelligence for infrastructure day 0, day 1, and day 2 operation that spans across all other tires. The functional components within the operations management tire provide topology discovery, health monitoring, alerting issue isolation, and closed loop automation. As shown in the figure on screen, the Telco Cloud provides a common foundation for CSPs 
for their apps and VNFs. Beyond the NFV enabled Telco Cloud infrastructure, transforming to enable the other components of the Telco Cloud, including automation and intelligence tools, is a process CSPs I have been working on for the last several years. But there are several steps every project undergoes to achieve better agility. Hence, we can say the steps involved in this transformation are first, virtualization. By separating network functions from their legacy hardware, greater flexibility is gained with lower operating expenses, OPEX, and capital expenses, CAPEX. Next is programmability. Removing human processes and enabling real-time control of network services provides agility, speed to market, and faster fixes. Next is orchestration. Full automation requires cooperation between the telco cloud infrastructure and the telco cloud automation to create efficiencies and provide on-demand differentiated services. Next is closed-loop feedback. Real-time monitoring and assurance to end-to-end -end services across a multi-cloud environment creates an intelligent, self-organizing network. Next is predictability. Applying artificial intelligence and machine learning can help future-proof a modern network while continually reducing costs and improving customer experiences. Here I conclude this topic. Hope you understand all the concepts clearly. Meet you in the next topic. If you have any queries, please get in touch with us by typing your comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe to our videos. So what are you waiting for? Join us for the course and do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Also, if you like our videos, don't forget to hit the like button and share our videos.